And well, first of all, what was it like running this grueling course just one more time today? <laughs> what, what? Uh, it, was, it was pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was annoying, it, especially at like yeah. the curve when we, uh, yeah, we turned I, out of the big spiral. Yeah, all the sharp turns, fun. I twist my ankle. <laughs> this is not fun. Yeah. And uh, just being your last time going through here, uh, what was that like mentally as you were going through the course? Because you've done this for four years. I mean, yeah. what was that like for you guys? It was... I don't know. I didn't even. I didn't even think about it until now. Being honest, I. Yeah. I didn't really. The realization didn't hit me until I saw my time and I was at the end of the finish line. It just kind of. Um, kind of sad. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, my time for this being my last time I'm ever gonna run this course. I PR'd by a little over a minute. So, really? Yeah. What was your time? I believe a 24:34. What'd you end up getting overall? I got the very last minute. I got 20th. Nice. And hey, going out like that, especially because you've been battling some injuries, just trying oh, to get your yeah. body going. What's it like just going out at the last home meet with a medal today? Oh, yeah, I'm really happy. I, uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish because I haven't practiced for two weeks to let my body heal and rest. And I started getting a lot of pain about halfway through. But I'm really happy that I just... Uh, pushed through and finished. And what do you think? Uh, of course, you had three teammates or two other teammates running alongside you. But uh, what did you think about your performance? I it wasn't the best, but uh, I did get an SR this today. I think I hit a couple seconds, like about six seconds. My SR was like a twenty-three fifty. I'm pretty sure. I got my PR was twenty-three sixteen, so I didn't hit my PR, but it was. It's fine. I, I'm still satisfied with it, at least being one of my last runs after maybe just before conference. I was about to say, uh, just a few weeks left of this season. Of course, uh, you guys are, you know, this is a team that it's it's on the it's trying to reload for next year. The whole program is. Uh, what's it like, kind of being a part of that reloading process and uh, kind of leave? What are you guys looking to do to kind of leave your mark before you head out and to greener pastures? I. There was like hardly anybody here. That was that was one of the big things that I noticed <clears throat> about the uh, reloading. Like you said, I yeah. I don't know. I mean, I just try to beat my time and kind of give it my all until I'm <laughs> can't feel anything at the end of the race. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think? I was I was pretty shocked when there wasn't that great of a turnout. Um, I was really upset that we had some runners that couldn't come out. Um, uh, I think leaving my mark, I want to get up on the top 15 girls. I think I have to cut about another minute off my time, but, and I only have conference and districts to do that. Uh, and if I can't do that, then I want to either place that conference or go to state. And one more question, which is, uh, there is, it might be a light team this year, but when you look at, like the eighth grade team, there's a lot of kids on that team. A lot of youngsters looking to come up. Uh, what what is that like to be kind of a, you know, because when you were in eighth grade, you saw some kid that was a senior who was like role model. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, what what is that like to be a role model for so many young kids, especially on a, a very young program like this? It feels kind of good. I mean, we got to interact with them for a couple of uh, practices and yeah. then a couple of meets. We got they're really nice kids, and I think I I hope that they still continue to do cross country and that. They try as hard as we have. Yeah. What do you think about being an inspiration for the youngsters coming up? That's pretty crazy. I yeah. never thought that I would be someone to look up to. Because, I don't know, I never thought I'd be like a big kid. Like, when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, it's pretty crazy to be like one of those people who like middle schoolers are going to be looking up to. To hopefully, like, oh, this girl, I'm going to try and beat her time. Like... I think it's, I'll try my best to be a good role model for everyone. Uh -huh. Well, no, that's all I got. Hey, man.